Hey everyone, this is Manly Badass Hero, and welcome back to the first episode of Pommelie. Previously, we cleaned up a house and became some kind of super shaman. Now we're going back to either get some good or bad endings. So, we're not gonna throw away anything. I'm not gonna touch anything, except for like lights or things like that. I'm just gonna try to progress and get to the ghost and see if maybe we can do something positive in life. Also get some lights going. That room doesn't have a lamp. Okay, let's just go in and call it a day. I'm assuming there's an ending where we just clean up everything, but we leave the ghost and sell it. Turn on some lights. I don't think it will. No, it actually, it does care if you turn on too many lights. See? I remember that from the, the original. Take the gate key. Um, we do want to turn on some lights. I mean, I do need to see. Oh, let's grab the axe. We need that. I think we have to use it to open the uh, one thing over here. The cloth seemed like it was important. Because it was in the post-game area. Okay, take the cleaning tools, and you know, I might do some basic cleaning. I'm going to take out some of the spider webs because they kind of annoy me. Okay, so leave the scissors there. And I think there was nails or something around here somewhere. Yeah, leave that there because they're afraid of nails. That was in the letter, by the way. I purposely took it trying to mess myself over, but we left too soon. It didn't work. Okay, take out the big webs. I can clear sight of vision in case the ghost comes and I'll mistake it for a ghost. Clean the one on the painting too. I feel like that's a little bit of a respectful thing. You know what I mean? Clean the spare webs off the paintings and stuff and the portraits. All right, let's go to the next day. Let's clean that bed. Night three, here we go. If things are gonna go down, it's gonna be this night. Hello, <laughs> Kak, saya ingin pergi saja dari sini. Tapi ah. <sighs> iya sih benar kata kamu. Tapi Iya, iya, iya. Baiklah. <sighs> Makasih, Rika. Hmm, nanti kita bicara lagi ya. What if I didn't like clean properly come back to haunt me? You didn't clean it up at all. You got rid of the ghost, but this house ain't sellable. It's like, damn. What is am I supposed to do today anyways? Because the second day was clean. The first day was like, get the papers and stuff.
Okay. And I got some papers in my room, like what to do. To-do list. Well, these are the... the other ones we knew about. Here's a new one. Finish clean up all the rooms in the house. <laughs> oh boy, this could be fun. Hey, wait a minute. Was this Christmas? Hey, Christmas, I ain't taking part in. Alright, my sister just likes to sing. That's all. It's all good. Can we, can we go to the fuse box and fix this? Well, it's fine. I think I finally got upset we were turning on the lights too much. So you turn off a lamp. Ah, that's right. Check out the parents' room first. Well, it's pretty locked. Does that make you happy? Do you want me to turn this on or off? Seem like it stopped? Stop it! Stop it! I'm trying to turn on lights! Well, these are all... Don't you know this opened up on its own magically? That's fine. Dear Mom and Dad, how are you? I hope all is well for both of you. I'm doing very fine here in Jakarta. Dad and Mom, I got some good news and bad news for you. The good news is I'm finally hired by one of the biggest publishing companies here in Jakarta. I'm really happy and so proud of myself. I think this is also because of your endless prayer for me. Plus, I want to say thanks to both of you. However, the bad news is from now on, it seems a little bit hard for me to go home as often as I used to. So, both of you will understand. There's a long one. I sent you... Papuan red fruit that can make your body healthy and strong. I want to say that I'm sorry because I can't go back home for this... Eight out of vacation, the border is still messed up, and I can't leave my post. Please send my greetings to Jaka, your son-in-law. Also, when you visit her graveyard, please tell her I still love her and that she's always by the one, be the one in my heart. That's the husband of the sister. Dad's old favorite songs. Hey, why not clean while we're here? It looks like she's looking at me. Put that chair back. Turn a lamp on. Moisturizer. What's so special about that?
Sounds really close. If we keep our eyes on the diary, it can't do anything to us. Hopefully. My child, my precious child. Losing you is our greatest grief, even in our own... Dang it, I accidentally clicked out. Your parents' life, but I know the pain you feel have already gone right now. A few days ago, you've also experienced what we have. Now you lost your child, the child that you've been waiting for for nine months. The child that you tried so hard to conceive for years, who's finally born without a heartbeat and... Souls? It must be so hard for you and we'll let you go to meet your little angel in heaven. It's a piece of my child, I love you. It's been three months since my grandchild left us. Until now I still hear... Her crying? I almost... Maybe it's a Bren. I also often hear... No, hear her crying, yeah. Hear the music from the baby toy in her room. I want to get rid of the rattling, but I don't think I can do it. It's really precious to my child. I know how de desperate she was to have a child on her own. Of her own. I hope the baby doll will make her happy a bit, although I know nothing can replace her son. Hmm. Try some bottled drink excessively? That doesn't sound good. Crumpled paper. Her baby is the one she values the most. I'm seeing any more clocks in the house. That wasn't open before, was it? Sorry, I just instinctively had to clean all of a sudden. Maybe the fact that we kept the nails and some of the sharp things this time around meant, um... things, you know, work out a little better. Still can throw out the soy sauce, I'm pretty sure. It's disgusting. Leave. I ain't leaving. I'm a let's player, it's our job not to leave. We gotta go in, risk our lives. Home for them sweet, sweet jump scares. Before I see if there's anything new really quickly before I, I commit to the event horizon. <laughs> I don't think so, so we'll just go in. Uh oh. Diary. We can hide in the wardrobe. I feel like that's gonna be pretty important. Garlic. Don't throw the garlic away. Talisman. Keep that there. Baby doll. For 40 days of death. Don't touch the comb, don't touch the prayer bead. I always thought my sister was a loner. Letter. I heard the hopeful news from your mother, even though I'm devastated after all, he's mine also. The most important thing for me is that you're safe now. I know we've been trying for ages, don't worry, and please don't fall in despair. Even though it feels incomplete, I still love and care for you. My summit here is almost done. I go back to you. Please wait for me. It's my sweetheart. Don't go anywhere else. I love you so much. All my love for you. There's the husband. She doesn't like when someone interrupts her. I'll remember that. Today I said my goodbyes to Hendra. We've been married for a little time, but his work needs him. Hendra will be back in three months. I already miss him. I'm f Oops. Turn the page this way. It's a little funny in the controls of this. I'm finally pregnant until my husband this morning. He was happy that he hugged me. 
It was that finally the world listened to my hope and wishes. I love him. I love my baby. I visit my friend. She has her second baby. I can't feel with no jealousy when I see her. I want a baby in my hands, too. 1997, my baby, my baby. Oh, boy. Let's not take the baby doll. Clean that while we're here. You know, I'm a little respectful. I'm cleaning your room. It's fine. I'm not touching your stuff. Just doing a little cleaning. See, it's all good. Don't need to... It's in the box. Ritual paper. This can help calm my sister. As soon as I flip it the right way. Bring my child in and rest in peace. I collect several items that can help. Things that can help each piece. Black coffee. Incense. We know where that is. The coconut shell. I know where that is. The wedding dress and the baby doll, which is there. The item should be taken to a kind of offering place in a room where she usually stays here. Start the procedure. She should be told that she can't stay here anymore. That she doesn't have anything to do with this world now. Should be high till morning while we're here. Can we even leave? We can. Let's grab the baby doll last. Clicked offering. Hey, teleport us back. Hmm. Incense was in here. I take the ritual paper too, so we can read it. So then we have the black coffee incense, we need the coconut shell, the wedding dress, and the baby doll, which we will collect last. The coconut should be in here. Get more items. Check it. So it should just be the wedding dress left and then that baby doll, which is in there. Wedding dress was right here. Okay, just the baby doll. See, we're collecting offering, we're not taking, see. Start procedure. Kakak, sekarang urusan kakak di dunia ini sudah selesai. Semoga kakak bertemu dengan anak kakak yang di dalam sana. Do we do it? What that noise? Saya harap sekarang kakak bisa pergi dengan tenang. Adikku. Sister. Rest in peace, the one lady. She guys found a way to make everything better, and it is now resting in peace, nothing tires the world of living. She can go leaving Jack alone the memories of the house. The house is now just a house, a place that went with since a journey of a family. 
family has gone forever, whom Jaka can only meet in his dreams. To sell it or to live in it, to let memories go or keep it closed, Jaka is the only one who can decide. So we actually did this completely correctly. That's why we didn't get like harassed or anything, except for the lights that one time. Because it doesn't like lights. She's a spirit woman who died in childbirth. Kuntana Lanak is believed to be an from a spirit woman who lingers and tries to find her lost child. She wants to be reunited with her babies, so that's why she steals children, especially babies. So the doll, that's why the doll is there. Steals the doll, see. She's a spirit of a woman who died in an unfaithful death. When a woman died because of a rape or murder, it is believed that the spirit would be... Kuntana She'll try to find justice and take revenge to her rapist and murderer. She's a spirit of a woman who commits suicide. Uh, I think the former and the latter are things she are. Kuntalak is also believed to be the spirit of a woman who lingers on Earth because she's not accepted in the afterlife. Once someone's taken their own life, they're not accepted in Heaven, therefore she transforms into a Kuntalak and haunts people due to their loneliness. There's nothing else here. Don't throw away things that would defend you from her. It's like, yeah, you shouldn't throw away those scissors, by the way. Alright, let's try getting a bad end. Cause there's there's 35 endings here. I'm I'm wondering. I'm assuming some are bad. Some are maybe we just actually do just sell a house, stuff like that. So it's very free form. Obviously, if we want to get that good ending, the the selling it mini game kind of thing is like completely not needed. Do everything wrong. Just touch everything. Nah, saya sudah menuliskan segala keperluan untuk menjual rumah ini. Throw everything. Being disrespectful. All right. Like as soon as I threw that nails away and the other thing, you see they made the noise. See that? Just throw away them scissors. Hey, just throw away that coconut. Start repositioning things, just throwing stuff out. What you gonna do about it, huh? Just throw it all away. Yeah, nothing. Yeah, it's really making a loud noise. Like, it's fairly upset. Already. I might as well put up the for sale sign. That might make upset too.
Yes, I did. We're glad still in the house while we're hearing this evil laugh and we're just not caring. We just don't care. We're fine. And I too. I don't think we get the key. We can just like go out and come back, can we? Why do we have to sleep here? Push that. That's bad, Omen. Throw away the garlic. Take the axe. Let's throw it all away. Clean up the trash. Look at the fridge, because you know why not. Comb of my own. I think the knife moved on its own. Okay. Throw away the jang lot. Throw away the chicken bone. Throw away the incense. The cleaning tools. Great. You should have one angry goose. Drink this weird, mysterious black coffee. Huh? How come I can't move? Oh wow, doing bad things really did make a difference. <laughs> do, do, do I want to go back inside? I've been kind of a dick on purpose, man, you. Still. Sister? Are we not even gonna make it till the next day? Sister? You me are good. I helped you out in an alternate route. Right? We all good. We all good. We all good. I'm just gonna turn all the lights back on. I know this annoys you. You know what? I'm gonna, I'm gonna take a bath. In defiance, I will go and take a bath. Hey, wait a minute. The photo's blank. Uh oh. Expose that razor blade. Those things are dangerous. Banging on a trash can. Take a bath. What can go wrong?
Give me those spare webs. They freak me out, man. They freak me out more than the ghost. <laughs> I'll be honest. Well, let's go to bed. It's been a good night's sleep. What? I spawned in front of the painting. She's singing off the bat. Skip that. Hmm. If we knew going on here. I'm pretty sure I've been as disrespectful as I can. Within the limits. Spencer the lights again. Are we running water? Keep that on. It's flashing. No. Oh! Just a painting. Pretty sure it just changed when I moved those nails. Oh god, it sounds so close. I always pray for you. Open this. There's our escape plan. See, it's all lit up. Last time it wasn't. Throw away those praying beads. Take the baby doll. Play with the toy. Throw away that dang talisman, who needs it? God, I think it's creepy. We can go out the window? Yeah, there's a whole back area. Ooh, I don't know about like this. Pretty dark and spooky. This is all new. Is this if I like, get trapped in there, I can like get out? A tree or is that a person? Ooh! I think we had our answer. This would be the point where you like run for your life if you are smart. How many nights does this go on for? Can we go to bed again? Some more nights? There is.
Let's sleep in our bed. What can go wrong? Do you want to survey the house now? Is it three to four days? If you're too tired, Jack wasted safe sleeping around the clean house like he tends to. Of course, he will not get the money he needs as fast as hope, but he has to stay a little longer to finish where he started. No pain, no gain, right? The overslept ending! Everything, we did everything wrong. Oh, we got something new. What? What do you use for empty and time? People say there was a family family that lived there. One day the parents of were brutally murdered. Only the youngest son survived. But the son went missing and no one knows where he is now. People started to talk about the youngest son and said the one who murdered the family is the youngest son. Until now, cries and laughter heard from the house. Creepy to go near the house between the night. That's the house from the, uh... Thing. I guess that's if it doesn't think it's solved. Places she likes to be in big trees, bamboo plantation, bamboo building, unfinished building. Try hiding till morning. Hiding is gold. Check out which one without much problem. I think sometimes a car thing to do, Jack understands that very much. However, Jack also believes that survival is the most important thing to do. You ever be called as a coward rather than a face to face uncertain fate? He's now as safe and sound and healthy as ever. We keep getting more of these, see. She's afraid of knife, scissor, razor blade, or any kind of sharp items. She believes she's killed by one of the items and nails. Because someone puts nails in her head, she'll die. Maybe by having the axe, we protect ourselves. So we should try playing through and not getting the axe? We could be more a little more lore. See, pretty women should bring sharp things wherever they go. At least nails or scissors is enough. My mother's pregnant. I'm also wishing her approaching my mother. It's so scary. So by keeping getting new endings, we get more lore and stuff. That was 32. But I'm trying to trigger a bad ending, which seems harder to do in this in the demo. So we're going to go through and we're trying to See if we can throw away anything sharp, which obviously, as soon as we throw away something sharp, we get a trigger. Like, they go, like you saw that right there. So watch what happens when I throw away these nails. Hmm, nothing? The other one probably overheard that one. It's like, you already, you already, like, caught it enough. Alright, let's come back the next day. Whoa, we actually saw the cutscene this time. What 
was that switch for anyways? Take the baby. That's why we have to go out the window. Do we just leave the doll? <laughs> Followed by her, taking his sister's most beloved possession, Jacka feels no remorse. It used to be his doll anyway, wasn't it? Little does Jacka know her sister doesn't want to be a part of the doll. Everywhere the doll goes, she goes too. There's more information here. She likes laughing and crying eerily. She often annoys and injures pregnant women. Good thing we're not one of those. She likes handsome men. Brushes hair while he's asleep. She hates sharp things, which we already knew. When she's close, she smells really weird. Considering how many endings there are, I feel like it's pretty vague. How to get them all. <laughs> I'm sure there's some variances of like selling a house, or was that one where I took the doll and left? I'm sure we can leave early and get another ending. Um, but I'm not sure how to trigger her to spawn, that's what I'm questioning. Seeing as I am. Saya tidak butuh Pak Bu sekarang. Let's see we talk bad to an if so trigger to come out. Emangnya dia pikir boneka bisa menggantikan anaknya. Uh oh, she didn't like me talking crap. I can't select anything. Well, oh, that's how you do it. Oh God, Rory. baby's gone. Goodbye, world. Wait, I'm alive. Huh? Memangnya hantu akan muncul jika tidak punya ini ya? <laughs> jika memang ada hantu, pasti mainan ini bisa berputar sendiri. Watch it move. Saya akan membuangnya nanti. Bicara sedikit dong. But we can just be like rude. Akan menyenangkan kalau kakak tiba-tiba muncul di sini. Oh my god. Berapa 
kakak memang panjang dan hitam sekali. What's wrong with us? Well, let's go out the window. Maybe we can't die in the full version. As weird as it sounds. Maybe it just spooks us. Because the, the demo, you know, had to have an endpoint, so maybe this is more freeform. Well, she usually confronts you here, like, I hear she is, but... Is she gonna come after us this time? Maybe she just can't do you in. Or maybe having her, like... Maybe it's like an ending, like a rare ending in itself now. Let's just try leaving. Oh! Nope, she got us. She waited. She spawn camped. <laughs> but they can be undone. A very big mistake leads to a very unfortunate event. Her anger, her wrath, her disappointment lead to the house being extremely haunted. The house cannot be sold. Jakar runs away far, to save himself from the wrong he has done. No one knows where he is now. Yeah, see, we mocked her, that's what set it off. It's not just taking the items, talking bad. Really, uh, sets her off. And we got a photo of her now. Oh, we can cut down the tree. Feels a try. Why is it? I don't feel so good. I don't feel so good. And my body's getting heavier. What is happening? Oh my. Why do we want to cut down the tree? Oh god. Ugh. I symbolically chopped down myself. Because it's the family tree. The tree is a house to many creatures, from small insects to hopping squirrels. It's also home to many unseen. Destroying one's house even attempt to do so is disgraceful. The harsh decision results in great consequences. Jaka has been declared missing for days, only to be found in the most odd way. Nobody knows or understands what happened to him. You're so polite and respectful because you didn't touch anything. Or you touched that tree, so you're dead. Oh, well, actually, there's actually a day and night cycle. That's kind of cool. Maybe the, for, for the finale, a ghost is gonna come to us here. We're digging too deep, too greedy. Ah. And I do like the kind of collectathon thing going on here. By getting the endings, you unlock little, small things here. This kind of reminds me of a more, less kind of comedic and detailed game of, um, Hello, Hello, which was an RPG maker game where you just went into a, a house and you got, like, various endings where they were bad or funny. There was, like, a hundred of them or something. So, a quick thing while before I go to another ending. Inherently, there's a trick to this game, and it's that... You don't need to do anything in the first two days. Hello? Unless you just want to kind of get taken the atmosphere and kind of see some, like, maybe some mini events and hauntings and stuff. 
you really don't need to do anything in the first two days. Like, it doesn't matter. The third day is when it counts. So, like, yeah, like, you get some endings early. But you might as well just go to the third day. It seems it opens up all the options for endings and, uh, events. And everything can be done in the third day, so... You don't really need to hard follow the to-do list, it just... Helps, I guess? So, let's see... There's one ending in particular... I'm curious about getting. Now, there's 45 endings in this, I don't think I'm gonna be able to get them all. Some of them seem pretty obscure and how you go about getting them. So, quite a bit of the repeatability, I think, is just trying to find those endings, seeing, like, how haunted you can get the house, see if there's any secret events. Because I know I've missed some of the events. I know that they're uh, just by screenshots people have taken. I, I know she can appear in a number of places. Is this... Is an ending somehow. Okay, okay, so there is one thing about skipping to the third day. She is much more active on the third day, no matter what you do. So. So if you're spooked easily, I would say, uh, third day might be a little harder. I want to see if that triggers something. Let's take a look. Living together, the house can't be sold. Having nowhere else to go, Jacket decides to start living in his own family's house again. Only now he won't be alone. She'll be with him forever. I was trying to start a house fire, and I'm 100% sure you can do it. I just don't know what to trigger it. Maybe lighting all the lights, I don't know. And they gave us this. Whoa! Baiklah, semua kebutuhan sudah di tangan. Akhirnya. Anyway, we're actually gonna try selling the house this time. I mean, I'm gonna prepare the house. I'm gonna sell it. Oh no! I'm just trying to sell the house for real this time. So that's what I meant. Like, there are, like, a lot of events. And you only can really trigger by, uh, doing certain things. So, ironically, being respectful does not really give you much of this game. Like, you just, you just go in and you, like, handle things. It's like, yeah, it's okay. You know what I mean? <laughs> So we're gonna start throwing away things, which is gonna really trigger the ghost um, to appear. As you can see, it's already starting. Like, so there is a bug with the cleaning, and I'm not sure if it's even if you can even complete it. So, yeah. You know, it's like things I've cleaned have like kind of returned the next day. Um, and I don't think anyone's actually gotten the Chivo for cleaning everything yet because of that, so. Ghost is going to really harass me now that I'm getting rid of the sharp things. That's one of the biggest ones that really get it going. Because you remember the thing said it did, um, don't throw away the scissors and everything, like all that.
Just ignore it. Just ignore it. It's good. It might spawn. It likes to spawn right here. That's a common one. There was something I forgot to throw out in this area, and I was really upset with myself for not doing it. What was it? Maybe I... Oh, there's a talisman here. Okay, now we leave. I think I have thrown out mostly anything except these things in the front area. And I'm hoping it counts the cleaning I did the other day, and I'm gonna go try to sell the house. Oh yeah, I gotta throw out the coconut. Throw out the coconut. Now we leave. Now we leave. The house is sold! Must buy, great buyer! Get complaint. The house is sold to low price, but high consequences. The next person claims to hear singing voices and cries women's lay at night. Desperately asking for her to be united again with her baby. Hey, at least it's sold. Well, apparently the, uh... Petals were something that she didn't like, too. So yeah, pretty much throwing away everything is bad. If there's like maybe one or two things, like the soy sauce bottle, that you can throw away safely. And that gave us this one. Watch your words, don't speak arrogantly by asking them to the show themselves. I feel like that was pretty obvious. And you can also trigger the ghost to really appear with, like, shit-talking. <laughs> I feel like that's one of the biggest trigger ones, rather than throwing away anything. Anyway, that's all I'm gonna play of the first episode of Pommelie. I, like I said, I won't go for all the things. I think there is some bugs, so it might not even be possible yet. But I still like this series. Some of the fear is a little gone, of course, since I played the demo, so I, I know kind of what's coming. Somewhat. I mean, most of these events are all completely new. But... Due to the nature of the, the ending hunting, and the kind of more freeformness, the demo was a little more scripted. Now you can actually kind of like completely circumvent the ghost, which is intentional, I imagine. So you actually have a very unscary, uneventful game. Or you can just be terrible and just have a more eventful game and all these little events happening. But they are subtle. Uh, I think only, like I said, only a few of them you actually die or some kind of consequence happens. I haven't even discovered the consequence ones, like all of them yet. I know they're there, like I said, I don't know if it's a bug, or if it's very esoteric how to get them. But, this game, so far, at least the first episode, I'm not sure how the later ones, well, the latter, rather. It is trying to be a little more realistic, which I appreciate, it's a little more slower paced, it's not afraid to be slower paced and more realistic. So it's, you know, it's more of the ghosts in the corner of the eye, or it just kind of appears here and there in the distance. It makes weird noises, plays with lights. And it's just you kind of, you know, you go in the house, you clean up, you're going for your family things. So it's a realistic haunting situation. And my complaint is it might be a little too easy to be respectful. And of course, like I said, the bugs. If if I'm assuming they're bugs, but when, when things, the clean thing reappears on the third day, I, I'm 100% sure that's a bug. So maybe a little more clear on some of the objectives, things like that, or at least have it be fixed. That's about it. Anyway, so thank you all for watching me play Pommelie Episode 1. Till the next episode, I'll see you guys later and take it easy.